kitchen. Now, one style of cake that I love is when people use lollies as cake toppers, and I really wanted to give this a try. So, in this week's video tutorial, I'm showing you how you can make your own candy lollies to add onto your cakes. Okay. Let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our lollies is first of all, I've got my ingredients. So I've got 150 grams of granulated sugar. I've got 95 milliliters of water and I'm gonna be using 60 grams of liquid glucose. Now all liquid glucose is gonna do is act as an interfering agent to stop any crystals forming when we're boiling up our sugar and our water. You may see in some recipes it calls for corn syrup. This works in exactly the same way. You're just adding an interfering agent. In the UK, it's really hard to get hold of any corn syrup, so we use liquid glucose. But you can substitute between the two depending on what you can get near you. Now, if you want to flavor your lollies, you either want an extract. So I've just got a lemon extract here, or this is an example of an oil-based flavoring. This one is highly concentrated so you would only need a few drops whereas if you're using an extract you want to add about a teaspoon now some flavorings are a lot stronger than others so if you find that the flavor isn't that strong you can add more I've then got my sugar thermometer so it's going to be really important to get the sugar mixture to the right temperature so we're going to be boiling it until it gets to the hard crack stage which is 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius I've then got some pink gel color so that I can color my lollies and some lolly sticks. Now you can leave your lollies plain. I'm gonna be adding a few sprinkles. So I've got some of the Princess Diary sprinkles by Happy Sprinkles and also some of their pastel vibes. You then want something to form your lollies on. So you can either use a silicone mat and just pour the mixture on and create your own shapes or you can get some molds which are perfect for creating creating round lollies. Lastly, I've got a spatula and just a silicone pastry brush, which I'm gonna use with a small amount of water. Now, one thing you wanna make sure that you do before you add the mixture onto the heat is make sure that you're prepared with everything you're gonna to need to make your lollies. So I've got my silicone mat here and I've also printed out this sheet with some circles on that I can use as a guide. So these circles are one and a half inches across. These ones are two inches and these ones are two and a half. So I'm going to place this underneath my silicone mat. I can then see that through the mat and I'll be able to use this as a guide. Now with these ingredients, this is going to make around 10 to 12 lollies, depending on the size. And this is perfect if you're using them to add onto the top of the cakes. Now with the silicone mat, I'm gonna be adding my sprinkles on once I've added on my mixture. If you were using the molds, what you would want to do is add your lolly sticks and I'm gonna pop some of those sprinkles inside that mold before I add the mixture. And you can do the same with the little ones. So I can now prepare my mixture. So the first thing I want to do is just add my sugar into a small saucepan. I'm gonna add my water. And if I pop that on some scales, I'm just gonna add 60 grams of my liquid glucose. And just give that a little stir around with my spatula. Once those ingredients are in my saucepan, I'm gonna take it over to my hob and just start to heat it up on a low heat, just waiting for that sugar to dissolve. So whilst that's heating up, I'm just gonna stir that round with my spatula and we're waiting it until we can't see any granules on the surface of that spatula. It's also a good indication that all that sugar has dissolved when the mixture goes from being slightly cloudy to clear. Once we've got to this stage, I'm then gonna take my pastry brush and some water and just run this round the edge of my saucepan. This is just to get rid of any sugar crystals that might be on the side of our saucepan, as we don't want these dropping into our mixture as we're boiling it, as this can cause crystals to appear in our mixture. 
Once that's done, I can then turn this up to a medium heat. So we want that mixture to start to boil and I'm gonna attach my sugar thermometer. Now, one of the things that I love about a thermometer like this is because of the way it's made, when you attach it to the side of your saucepan, the actual thermometer isn't touching the bottom. So you're just getting the temperature of the sugar mixture. We then want to leave this mixture without stirring at all until it reaches that hard crack stage. Now this sugar is going to get incredibly hot so make sure that you're being so careful not to get any of that sugar splashed on yourself as it really will burn so please do be so careful. Once it's reached that stage you want to turn the mixture off and take it off of the hob. can then add my flavoring. So I'm actually gonna use the oil. So I'm gonna add a few drops and this is the banana cream, but you can add whatever flavor you like. And I'm just gonna stir that through. Now, if you wanted to make clear lollies, you could use the mixture as this is. I'm gonna add a little bit of coloring. So I've got some pink food gel. That I'm just gonna add in and just stir that in. And you can go as dark as you like. So I'm just gonna add a little bit in to give me quite a light pink. Now I'm just gonna wait a few seconds as I want all of those bubbles to disappear. So we get this really smooth mixture and this is now ready to use for our lollies. So I'm gonna take some on a tablespoon and create a little ball. I can then add on some of my sprinkles and taking a stick, I'm gonna place it on and just turn it slightly so that it's all covered. Now what you want to do is when you drip on that mixture, is just hold the spoon in the center and this will give you a circle or as close to a circle as you can get by doing it by hand. Then got our lolly mold. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but instead of pouring it onto my mat, you just wanna pour it into the mold, just making sure that you're covering the back of your stick. And I'm gonna do some of those big ones too. Now you wanna work as quickly as you can, as the more your mixture cools down, the harder it's gonna to be to drip that into your mold. Now that mixture cools down so fast, so I was able to make 10 lollies. Now don't worry about your utensils and your saucepan. All you wanna do is just pop this in the sink and want some hot water in there with a little bit of soap and just leave it for that sugar to dissolve. Once that sugar has dissolved, you can clean it out and it'll be as good as new. With the lollies, I've got some smaller ones in the mold, some larger ones in the mold and some that are just sitting on the silicone mat. Now I'm gonna leave these for around 20 to 30 minutes just until they've completely cooled and I can remove them. If I just peel that back, there we have our first lolly. So as you can see, it's got this really pretty pink color, but it's nice and clear. I can do that, all of those lollies. Then got the lolly ones, so I'm just gonna remove these from the mold. So then we've got this really pretty pink lolly, and as you can see, we've got those sprinkles just at the front. So as you can see, the ones where we've used the lolly mold are just a little bit more circular than the ones that we've done by hand. So it really depends on the look that you're going for to what method that you want to use. Now, at the moment, they're not actually that sticky, but the more they come into contact with moisture in the air, so the more humid it is where you are, the stickier they're actually gonna become. Now, I'm putting these on the top of a cake, so it's not too much of an issue if they are a little bit sticky. If you did want to give these ones away as presents, you could wrap these, now that they're cooled, in some cellophane bags, and that will stop the air getting to them. One thing that I do wanna mention if you are putting these on, on a cake if you do put them in the fridge that will make them go really sticky as they will be absorbing any of the moisture that's inside the fridge 
Now, as an alternative to the clear pink lollies, I also have some different variations that you can create. So if you wasn't to add any pink at all, you could make some clear lollies. Alternatively, when you add your pink, if you add a small amount of white gel color, so here I've just got the icing and frosting whitener by Ingenious Edibles. So a tiny drop and we lose that opacity is a solid color that you can't see through. So it makes a great alternative to those semi-transparent pink ones. And you can make these in any color you like to match the theme of your cake. Once you've made all your lollies in a variety of sizes, you can then add them onto your cake as cake toppers. Now you can add as many as you like and I'm adding them in at different heights. Now the cake that I'm pushing them into is a five inch cake. So it's five inches in diameter and five inches in height. So here we have the finished candy lollies on top of the cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will find it useful if you want to make your own lollies. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Man and YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification bell and next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. Now I will put a list of the recipe and all the tools that I've used throughout today's video in the description below so you can find those there. So until next time, bye!